taste I've been round for a long, long year So many a man, so many things Okay, we are two more. My name is Mickey Barber, and I'm from Moore Terrace in West Orange. I'm proud of it, too. A lot of good people came from West Orange, New Jersey. I'm here at the Oak Barrel Pub on Main Street. I'm joined by a few more. Mickey Barbro and Joe Storm. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you, Joe. Mickey, tell me how the name A Few More came to be about. Well, A Few More uh, originated in West Orange, and originally the band had two few more, more terrorist empl uh, people employed in the band, Joe Beneziano and myself. Um, the band has always been about West Orange, though, so we decided to call it A Few More after more terrorists where we grew up, where you grew up, too. You were neighbors when we were young. Now, Joe, uh, what's your... Um, uh, what do you do in the band? Uh, I sing and I play harmonica and uh, percussion. Now, how long have you guys been together? I'd say about four years. Well, the band itself has been together four years. Joe and I have been playing guitar and singing songs together since the early 70s. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we, we perform some of the songs that we do today in the early 70s. So well, we play classic rock. <laughs> uh, that was my next question. What kind, of, what, what kind of music do you play? Now, Mickey, I noticed that you are primarily just on guitar. Do you do any vocals? I do some. Uh, I try and keep it low. I'm just basically a background, but I play the guitar. Joe sings, and we have our lead singer, Brian Ramirez. And they switch back and forth, and the harmonies are fantastic. Our, our brand of music, and, and I always describe it to Joe, and he agrees with me, it's a rendition of old classic rock and roll that we grew up with. And, uh, you know, I love the new music, I love rap, I love all kinds of music, but no matter where you go, when you hear the old classic songs from the 70s and 80s and even the 60s, um, it brings joy to your heart. Everybody in the bar loves those type of songs. So we take heavy rock and roll songs, we play with very light instruments, acoustic guitars, some harmonica, and we do our rendition, and we practice hours and hours in this poor guy's house. I'm sure, I'm sure, and you guys, you, you guys do a great job. Now, other than at the Oak Barrel here, what other kind of venues do you guys play? Well, we love to play for charity events, especially for West Orange. We've played at Danglers, we've played at uh, Edison Street Fair, and... We play, we've played for uh, wounded uh, veterans last year. We had a big gig up in Parsippany. We volunteer our time. And, you know, we, we all have uh, full-time jobs. Band is basically our part-time job. It's our it's our contribution back to society. We play our music, and we love to do charity gigs. So if anybody out there has an event coming up, you want somebody from West Orange to play, we'll be glad to come on stage for all kinds of events. Joe is a, a West Orange resident. I am myself. <laughs> now, now, how would someone contact you? Guys, have a website? Well, um, we have a website. We have a Facebook page. It's Mickey Barbro. A uh, few more, and you can see all of our band photos on there. My my darling wife is our photographer. For years now, she's been coming to all the gigs and taking pictures. And 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 basically, when she photographs us, she photographs the people at the bar that are here to hear our music. This band started because we lost too many friends, and we wanted our friends to have an event to come out and enjoy themselves. An Even if it was just a reason, a good reason. We don't call it a gig, we call it an event. And we post it on Facebook, and that's where you can hear about a few more. Well, Mickey, Joe, certainly you're doing a great job tonight. Thanks for joining us on the show. And, and, and keep up the good work, hey, and we hope you, to. Joe. You know, it's always been a pleasure. I love you. you do a great job with the downtown. Uh, with the make sure you get this. Go ahead. What we start. Fantastic job. I mean, I enjoy watching it so much. My wife will tell you. I, I patrol heavily Facebook looking for Joe and his stories. His story about 280 was fantastic. The other stories that you've done about West Orange, it kind of brings the town back together. You know, we have a lot of stories from our day. 
And when we Let's grow up. Let's not get into those. Okay, right? we don't want to tell any right now. I still live in West Orange, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe lives in West Orange, too. But when you tell stories, it's about the history of West Orange, and it, it kind of, it, 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 it's a proud moment for me. Well, thank you very much, Nick. I enjoyed That's, very much. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. And as I say, you guys keep up the good work, and uh, what goes around comes around. You guys do charity work. I'm sure that your big break is out there waiting to be discovered. Thank you. Thank we already you. had our big our break. Big break came, Joe, when you came to see our gig, that's for sure. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on Discover West Orange. I'm here at the Oak Barrel with Bill Keogh. Certainly Bill Keogh will be recognizable to many West Orange residents because, Bill, you are... The director of the Recreation Department? I thought you looked familiar, <laughs> Bill. Now, Bill is part owner of the Oak Barrel Restaurant here on Main Street. Uh, tonight we're here watching a few more. Bill. Is music new to the Oak Barrel, or, or I should say our live band, something new to the Oak Barrel? Well, it's something that we don't do all the time, Joe, because the Oak Barrel has a tradition. People kind of come and like to socialize and talk and just renew old friendships and, and, and have a quiet time, you know, grab a bite to eat or whatever. But every once in a while, we like to tip it over and uh, have a little bit of extra fun. Well, I think a few more is is a perfect uh, perfect for this venue because uh, it, it is a close-knit society here in West Orange. And uh, as far as socializing go, goes, uh, guys are talking to the guys in the band uh, in between songs. So it's, it's, it's like an old family atmosphere here at the Oak Bar. Well, there's people out there that have known each other for like 40 years I hate to say it you know and date myself but but that's the way it is uh, you know Joey Storm and I uh, went to Our Lady of Lords together you know back in the 60s and you know Mickey's from the neighborhood and uh, we got to know Brian the, uh, the other guitar player through those guys and Joey Oldock you know is, is, is the, the son-in-law of Vinnie Santucci which ties into the whole West Orange 150 you know the the, the daughter who was the centennial baby back in 1962. A, a little bit inbreeding, but in a good way. It all goes around, Bill. Well, well, thanks for having us here at the Oak Barrel, and uh, we're on Main Street. I urge everyone to come down to the Oak Barrel, check out a few more, and, and the hamburgers while you're at it. Thanks for joining us on the show, Bill. You're welcome, Joe, and thanks for having us. www.oakbarrel.com. You heard it. <laughs> I'm such a baby girl, down the baby cry.